my girl. I'm here. Oh, hi, Emma. Long time no see. Oh my god. Look who it is. How have you been? It's going well. What about you? What have you been up to? Still journalism? Everything is great. No, I'm a copywriter now. Oh, wow. It's a freelance job, right? That's right. So my time is very flexible. In contrast to me, every morning I have to get up at 5.45 or even half past 5 o'clock. <laughs> You're not an early bird. Yes, I also want to have the same job as you. But I get used to getting up early this morning. Really? What time do you often get up? About 5 a.m. Oh my gosh. Why do you wake up so early like that? Uh, my hobby is running in the early morning. I prefer doing activities in the daytime. Exactly when do you run? 20 past 5 or sometimes half past 5. Wow, you must have taken a lot of exercise. How long do you run? A half hour or one hour? Both are not right. One hour and a half. You also go to the gym, right? Yes, but in the evening. Around half past 6 or 7 o'clock. After work? Yes. How often do you go to the gym per week? Every day? No, sometimes three days per week. What time do you leave the office? Five o'clock in the afternoon. So, your working time starts at 8 a.m. as usual. Hmm, no, actually, my work often starts at 9 o'clock. But if I have a meeting, I'll be earlier 15 minutes than usual. A quarter to nine? Correct. Ah, Emma, do you know what time it is? 25 to 10. What's wrong? Do you have to go somewhere? No, just asking. <coughs> Emma, why can you get up so early like that? I've tried many times but failed. I don't know. The alarm goes off and wakes up. How long do you spend sleeping? Seven hours or six hours and a half. Probably you turn off the lights by 11 o'clock. Around that time. My sleeping time is not fixed. You usually go to bed late, don't you, Emma? That's right. Even there were some days I slept at the crack of dawn because of completing work. Oh, poor you. Emma, do you want to go shopping now? What time is it? Yes, whatever. It's a couple minutes past 11. A little late for going shopping, but it's fine. Let's go. Jackson, it's exactly 4.45 p.m. Can you be quicker, please? Oh, uh, okay. I'm almost finished. You're as slow as a snail. I'm coming. Hurry up. We can be stuck in traffic jams if we're only five minutes late. I know. Take me the car key, Alice. Here it is. Oh my god, there are so many cars. It's a long queue. What time is it, Alice? It's almost ten past five. It's too early. The party is going to start at six o'clock. We can go there in 45 minutes. If no heavy traffic like this. Don't worry, I'll go another shorter way. It's up to you, as long as we arrive there on time. Of course. 
I don't think we can be at the restaurant at exactly 6 p.m. Why? Now it's almost half past five, and it takes us about one hour to go there with the traffic problem, Jackson. No way. I just glanced at my watch a few minutes ago. Cannot be 5.30. So what time is it? Just almost 5.20. Oh, turns out my watch is fast. 30 minutes later. Alice, do you see where it is? Well, eventually we'll come there. I told you we would be at the party in time. Now it's six o'clock. I know, it's exactly eight to six. Okay, let's come on in. Sally, are you on the road? How long does it take for you to be in the office? Wait, wait. On the road to where? Oh no. Truly ask the question? Why not? It's too early now. Too early? You don't know what time it is, do you? What time is it? A quarter to seven. What? Exactly a quarter to seven. Oh my gosh, I arrived there now. Hurry up, you may be late. Taxi, taxi! Get in, please. Where would you like to go? I need to go to the map box company, please. Lady, bang the door, please. Oh, sorry. No problem. How long does it take to get there? If no jam, we can get there around a quarter past seven o'clock. Excuse me, but could you drive a bit faster? I'm in a hurry. I can't break the traffic rules. Just a bit faster. I need to be present at the office by 7.15. Don't worry. Now it's just 5 to 7. It usually takes 15 minutes to get there. Thank you. I'll go the shorter way. The road ahead often has heavy traffic. Thank you so much. Have you got the time here? I left both my phone and watch at home. Five past seven, lady. Do we probably get there in time? I will try. Many thanks. My presentation to the board starts at half past seven, so I'm in a little bit of a hurry. Is it nearly 7.15? Nah, don't worry. We're nearly there. About eight minutes. Here we are. Now it's exactly seven past seven. You won't be late. Thank you. How much is it? Your total is $3.5. That's fine. Keep the change. Thank you so much. It was nothing. Hi, John. Has the meeting started? Not yet. Oh, why? Could you please tell me the time? 23 past 7. If so, you must have been in the meeting room. Why are you here? You're so lucky, Sally. The meeting is delayed. It starts at 8 o'clock. Oh, how lucky I am. I did set an alarm about a quarter to six, but it didn't go off, so that's why I was late. <laughs> okay, let's prepare your presentation, Sally. Okay, thanks for calling, John. Amelia and her daughter Sophie go to her friend's wedding. 
Sophie is so excited. She asks her mom about the wedding she has attended. Wow, everything is so pretty like paradise. I like this pink theme. What do you think, Mom? I like it too. A beautiful wedding is every girl's dream. Even mine back then. I saw photos at your wedding. It was amazing too, Mom. The most important thing was to marry my favorite person, which is your dad. I hope that I have a wedding like that one day. How much do you reckon it costs to pull this wedding off? I think it costs them a lot of money. Do you hope to have a wedding as big as theirs? I don't think so. I want to have a bigger wedding. Why do you want to have a bigger wedding? I want to have a large wedding that everyone will remember. You can have a small wedding and people will still remember it. As long as you marry your love, your wedding will be perfect. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Who were they? Yes, a lot. Some of my cousins, friends, and colleagues. But the most memorable one is my best friends. Who went with you? I went with one of my classmates. Where was the wedding organized? It was held in a restaurant downtown. Was it amazing? How many people were there? It was great, and it was a small wedding. Only her close friends and relatives were invited. What did people do at the wedding? They enjoyed the wedding feast, sang, and danced together. After giving the couple the best wishes of everlasting happiness. What did the bride and groom wear? The bride wore a white wedding gown, while the groom wore a black suit and tie. What was the most interesting ritual at the wedding? Exchanging rings is a ritual I'm quite interested in. It was so emotional. A lot of people cried. The groom and bride's eyes sparkled, and then I knew they are meant for each other. Are weddings special events in one's life? Yes, along with birthdays, because we only marry once or twice usually, and the ceremony is intimate and special. Things like that don't happen a lot. Do people get married early? Not really. The average age to get married for a woman is 27, and for men it's 29. What is the ideal age to get married in your opinion? Well, 27 would be my ideal age. Women are most charming and mature at that age, I guess. How have weddings changed recently? The most noticeable change is the reduction of rituals in a wedding. There used to be more steps in a wedding years ago than there are now. Like what, Mom? For example, after the ceremony, the bride had to speak to her parents first. Or the family of the bride would essentially pay the husband-to-be a sum of money, as a sort of thanks for being willing to marry their daughter. That's so strange. Nobody does that anymore. And the couple needed to bury a bottle of bourbon at their wedding site exactly one month before the ceremony to have a sunny sky on their wedding. It was more complicated and superstitious back then. I want a simple wedding without any of those old-fashioned and weird traditions. Sure, honey. When it is about time, we'll plan your wedding together. Thank you, Mom. It'll be so much fun. Planning to hold a wedding reception at your hotel. Do you have any ideas? Sure. 
We are delighted that you have chosen our hotel to host your wedding reception. What style do you like? I want to organize it in a vintage style. When are you going to have the party? On the 1st of July. How many tables do you want to book? 40. How much do you want to spend on each table? 200 to 250 dollars for each table. And I want a band to play at my wedding. Of course! We'll plan the best wedding for you. I wish you a joyous wedding. Wow, you look terrific today. What's going on? Today's our 30th wedding anniversary. Our family is going to the hotel to celebrate. That's why you have those gorgeous flowers. Oh, what bag are you holding? That's the present I prepared for my wife. A necklace studded with diamonds. Fantastic. Your wife will surely be very happy. I also hope my wife will like it. My wife always complains about why I don't give her diamonds. Hope you'll both have a good time. Thanks. I'm feeling very sad because I couldn't make it to Wade's wedding. He will sympathize with you. He knows that you're unable to return from China at this time. Hmm, about Wade's wife. I don't like her very much. I understand that. It may take time for you to get along with Kate, your new sister-in-law. I'm not going to speak with her. She's arrogant and rude. Anyway, she's your sister-in-law. If you do like that, you'll make Wade awkward. I know. When are you going to be able to return home? On or around July 11th. I'm homesick for home and miss everyone. It won't be long. Let's do something. What do you want to do? I don't know. Anything is fine. Let's go see a movie. No, I went to see three movies this week. Three? Why so many? Because I was bored all week. You want to play some sports? No, I don't want to play any sports. Why not? Sports are fun. I don't want to run around and get all hot. Yeah, it is kind of hot. How about shopping? Do you want to go shopping? I like shopping, but I have to watch all my money until the end of the month. Well, we can go get dinner. Dinner is a good idea. What do you want to eat? I heard about this new Japanese restaurant down at the mall. Is it expensive? It's not too expensive, but it's not cheap either. That sounds good. After dinner, we can go window shopping. That sounds like fun. And if we want, we can play some indoor air-conditioned sports. Really? Which sport has air conditioning? Bowling. Bowling? Right. Great. Let's go. Okay. me. Yes? Would, would you like some coffee or tea while you're waiting? Yes, that would be lovely. Thank you. Would you prefer coffee or tea? 
Coffee, please. And how would you like your coffee? Two sugars and some milk. I'm sorry, but we don't have any milk. Is coffee mate okay? Coffee mate is fine. Okay, it's one coffee. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Yes? Do you use fresh ground coffee? No, we don't. We use instant coffee. Nescafe. I see. Can I have some tea, please? Yes. What kind of tea would you like? What kind of tea do you have? We have Earl Grey, green tea, or Lipton. Green tea is Chinese, is it not? Yes. I'll try the green tea. Would you like that iced or hot? Ice sounds nice, not too sweet. One iced green tea. Would you like a cookie? Cookie? No, thank you. How about an apple? Yes, I'd like an apple. One iced green tea and one apple. I'll be right back. Unit 1. Handling a Complaint Hello, Mr. Frank's office. Layla speaking. Yes, is this the AHS company? Yes, it is. May I speak to Mr. Frank? I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Frank is busy right now. Oh, is this the sales and marketing department? Yes, it is. What is the nature of your call? I wish to make a complaint. Okay, sir, you can tell me your complaint. Will you pass it on to Mr. Frank for me? Yes, sir, I will pass it on to him. Could you just hold the line a moment while I get my pen and paper ready? Certainly, no problem. Okay, I'm ready now. Could I have your name, please? My name is Eric Wilson, W-I-L-S-O-N. And what is your company name? I'm calling from the Wilson Company. Have you been using our products for a long time? Yes, I have. I've been a customer for five years now. Can you tell me what the problem is? Recently, the problem has been damaged product packaging. Could you be more specific, please? Yes, when you send me the product, the packaging around it is damaged. Is it also damaged inside? Yes, sometimes. Is this the first time you've called to complain? Yes, it is. Are there any other problems? Yes, occasionally the delivery arrives a day late. Does this happen often? Yes, it has happened often. Thank you for alerting us to these problems. Well, I hope you can fix them for me. Yes, I'm very sorry to hear that you've had these difficulties. That's okay, but I expect to see an improvement soon. Yes, sir. I will pass on your complaint straight away. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Unit 2. Joining a marketing meeting. Thank you. Uh, make sure you join the office marketing meeting today at 3 o'clock. Okay, I will. It will be a good opportunity for you to meet everybody. Excellent. And you can share any ideas that you might have with the team. Sounds like it could be interesting. Yes, these meetings are normally interesting.
Hello, everybody. Is this your first meeting with us? Yes, it is. Have you met Ryan yet? No, I don't think so. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm the product director. Layla, nice to meet you too. So, what's on the agenda for today? Uh, usually, we discuss customer complaints and then possible solutions. And to finish, we'll talk about ways to improve the office organization. So, does anybody have any complaints to report? No. None for me. None for me. Layla, do you have any? Well, I did get a call from an upset customer. What did he say? He complained that the packages were sometimes damaged. Anything else? Well, he said that the deliveries were sometimes late as well. Layla, could you give me the customer's information, please? Yes, Mr. Wilson from the Wilson Company. I'll look into the packaging problem. Thanks, Jennifer. Layla, do you have any ideas about how we could improve the office? Don't be shy. We want to hear your ideas. Well, maybe we could move the filing cabinets? Yeah! And buy some potted plants. What a great idea! Okay, I think we're out of time for this week. Unit 3 Performance Appraisal. Yes, Layla, are you ready for your performance review? Yes, I think so. Okay, please come to my office after lunch. Okay. I'm a little nervous. Don't worry. Okay, I'll try not to be. I see that you're always here on time in the morning. Yes, I don't like to be late. And you've managed to handle all the new work. I do like a challenge. Would you like more responsibility? I could handle more responsibility. Really? Why? Because I work really hard. And what have you learned in your time here? I've learned how to handle difficult customers. Would you like a better salary? Yes, I would. Okay, I'll review your salary at our next meeting. Thank you. I would like to apply for some holiday time. Okay, how long have you been working here? Six months. That means you can have 10 days holiday. Can I take it next month? Maybe. First, you need to fill out an application form. Okay, when will I know if I can go on holiday? Hand the form back to me today and you should know within two days. I want to go and visit my brother in Scotland. Oh, that sounds nice. Unit 4. Planning a business trip. Layla, I have to go away on business next week. Where to? Japan. And what do you need me to do? I need you to organize my trip. Okay, but I'm going to need some information from you first. I have some time now, so let's get started. What date do you want to leave? Next Friday, the 13th. And which city are you visiting? Osaka. And for how many days will you be there? Seven days. Is there a budget for your flight and accommodation? Yes, call our travel agents. They'll fix everything. Hello? Is this Star Travel? 
Yes, it is. Yes, I'm calling from the AHS company. How can I help you? I need to make a booking for Mr. Frank. Can you give me the trip details, please? Yes, he would like to go to Osaka, Japan, for one week, leaving next Friday the thirteenth. Okay, thank you. I'll fax the booking confirmation details to you this afternoon. Is that it? Yes, don't worry. We always book Mr. Frank's overseas trips for him. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Anna, are you free now? I want to ask you something. Yes, Leila. How can I help you? Mr. Frank is going on a trip next week. Is there anything else I need to arrange? Maybe. Did you call the travel agent yet? Yes, done that. Okay, good. Did you book the limousine airport? No, not yet. Did you arrange the foreign currency for him yet? No. Do you even know what to do? No. Don't worry. The limousine is easy. But you will need to change a thousand U.S. dollars into travelers' checks. Where do I get the cash? Well, you'll need to fill out a memo, and I will issue you the money. Hey, can you give me some money too? Ha! <laughs> Very funny. Are you going on the trip as well? No. Okay, so I'll write out the memo and send it to you as soon as possible. Good. Unit one. Greetings. Example one. Hello, Layla. How are you? Stephen. Nice to see you. I'm fine. And you? I couldn't be better. I'm glad to hear that. What are you doing here? I came for a walk with my wife. I don't see your wife. Where is she now? She went to get something to eat. She'll be back soon. Great! I can't wait to say hello to her. Sure, my wife will be happy to see you too. Example two. Hi. Hello. What's up? Nothing much. I'm just waiting for the bus. Have you been waiting for the bus for a long time? I've been waiting for about forty minutes. Forty minutes? It's a long time to wait for the bus. I think so too. Maybe you should wait over there. Why should I wait over there? Because the bus stop is over there. This is the post box. Example three. Hello. Hi. This is Stephen. Is Tim there? Hi, Stephen. This is Tim. How's life? Life is great, but I have not seen you in a long time. Yes, it's been a long time since we've seen each other. I'm so glad you called. All is well with you. Everything is great. Listen, I've got this amazing story to tell you. Really? Oh, my battery is dead. Unit two. See you again. Example one. Your wife has been gone for a long time. Yes, she has. Do you think she'll come back soon? She should be back any minute now. I'd love to stay, but I have to go now. 
You cannot wait a couple more minutes. I really have to go now. Please, give my regards to your wife for me. I will. Take care. Thanks, you too. See you again. Example 2 Is this your bus? I'm waiting for the number 14 bus. This is the 14. Oh, okay. Well, I have to go now. Okay, it was nice talking to you. It was nice meeting you. Thanks for your help. It's my pleasure. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Example 3 Thank you so much for your help. No problem. I like to help. You're so kind. Well, I should be going. Okay. Good luck. Take care. Thank you. Hope to see you later. You can call me if you want. Okay. See you. Unit 3. Introducing oneself and others. Steven, is that you? Tim, fancy meeting you here. Long time no see. It has been a long time. Is this your friend? Uh, this is my wife, Layla. I'm pleased to meet you, Layla. Darling, this is Tim. We played on the same basketball team in high school. Nice to meet you, Tim. We were about to have dinner. Would you like to join us? Oh, thanks, but I'm having dinner with my mother tonight, and I must be going. Oh, it was good to see you. Good to see you, too. Bye. Bye. Example 2 Hi, Philip. Hi, Tim. Is this your friend? Have you met Layla before? No, I don't think so. Tim, this is my friend Layla. Layla, this is my colleague, Philip. Hello, Layla. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Example 3 Excuse me? Yes? May I introduce myself? My name is Eric William. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thanks, and nice to meet you too. I sell computers. You sell computers? Yes, if you ever need a computer, please call me. Okay, Eric. I do appreciate it. I'll call you if I need a computer. No trouble at all. Unit 4. Inquiring about health. Example 1. What's the matter with you? Oh, I had a small accident. A small accident? It looks like you broke your leg. Yes, I did break my leg. How did you break your leg? I fell off of a skateboard. Do you skateboard? No, it was my friend's skateboard. Does it hurt? Yes, it hurts. Please, don't do that. Sorry, can I sign your gauze? Yeah, sure, but please, be gentle. Example 2 What's wrong, Layla? 
I don't feel so good. You sound terrible. Are you coming down with something? I, I feel terrible. I think I may be coming down with the flu. Have you seen a doctor? No, I haven't seen a doctor yet. Have you taken any drugs? I'm going to the drugstore now. I'll go to the drugstore with you.